All right, everyone, welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining me in this live practice. Sorry, the audio wasn't working, so I have to come back and do a voiceover. This will be a 50-minute advanced power yoga class. This will be a 50-minute advanced power yoga class. So welcome. Let's come into easy pose. I was mic'd up, but uh, the sound wasn't working and I had to record later. All right. Let's come into easy pose. Bring the hands on top of the knee, palms open. Maybe close the eyes and allow yourself to find that intention within. Breathe in and breathe out. When you're ready, inhale, reach the hands all the way up. Bring the hands in front of the heart, honoring yourself for showing up to the mat, allowing yourself to set an intention for your practice, noticing what comes to mind. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, reach the hands all the way up and we twist to our right side, left hand, right knee, right hand behind you. Relax the shoulder. Inhale, reach the hands all the way up, gazes forward, and we twist to our left. Right hand, left knee, left hand behind us. Relax the shoulder. Inhale, bring your gaze forward. Hands reach up and roll yourself to a tabletop. Allowing yourself to warm up the wrist by rolling forward and back. Lengthen the spine. Relax the shoulder. Breathe in and breathe out. Tuck toes under and press into your downward facing dog. Begin to bend and straighten alternate knee. Relaxing the shoulder. Pause it at any point in time. And when you're ready, rock yourself forward into your first plank, drawing the belly in, pushing those heels back, lengthen the spine. Bring the left knee towards the left elbow and place the left leg in between the hand. Right hand stays and take the left hand to the sky. Runner's twist. Continue to bend that left leg. Exhale, frame the front foot. Inhale, look forward, lengthen. Straighten the left leg. Head is towards the shin. Connecting again with your breath. Bend the knee. Inhale, reach the hands all the way up. High lunge. Draw the belly in. Push the right heel back. Lengthen the spine. Exhale, bring the hands to meet with the left. And then bring the right leg up. Lengthen the right leg, lengthen the spine. Right leg meets with the left. Look forward, flat back. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Bend the knee, chair pose, Utkatasana. Hands in front of the heart. And come back to standing. Inhale, reach the hands all the way up, look up. Finding that length, exhale, forward fold. Bend the knee, look forward. Exhale, step the left leg back. Inhale, take the right leg to meet with the left, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll yourself forward into plank. Lean forward, yogi push up, elbow hugging the rib cage, belly hugging, upward facing dog. Top of the legs on the mat, lift the thighs. Exhale, come into tabletop. Charge the hands all the way to the sky. And take it into your wheel, uh, your, rather, your camel pose, my apologies. Finding that length, open the heart. Wherever option you take, lower back or heels, push the hip forward. 
Inhale, gazes forward, hands reach up. Exhale, bring the hands underneath the shoulder. Tuck toes under, press back, downward facing dog. Inhale here, take the right leg up. Right knee towards the right elbow, hug in. Finding that strength. Right leg in between the hand, quietly. Inhale, left hand stays, right hand reach up. Runner's twist. Bend that right leg, extend the left leg back. Open the heart. Inhale. Exhale, place the hands, frame the front foot, look forward, lengthen. Inhale, reach the hands all the way up, high lunge. Bending into that right leg, extending the left leg back. You can look up, you can look forward. Exhale, the hands to the mat, frame the front foot. Inhale, look forward, lengthen. Straighten the right leg, forward fold. Inhale, bend that right leg. Lift the left leg, come into that modified airplane pose. Exhale, left leg meets with the right. Look forward, lengthen, flat back. Exhale, fold, relax the head and shoulder. Inhale, bend the knee, chair pose. Noticing your breath, sitting a little bit lower. Rise up, mountain pose. Taking a breath here, bend the knee, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Relax the shoulder, lengthen the spine. Inhale, look forward, lengthen. Take the left leg back. Inhale, right leg back, downward facing dog. Roll yourself forward into your vinyasa. Yogi push up, strong core. Upward facing dog or cobra. Relax your shoulder. Lengthen the spine and exhale, bringing yourself into tabletop. Right leg is going to reach back. Right leg crosses over the left, finding that breath length and create more space. It's called cow face pose. Sit towards the heel, create more space, hands reach up. Exhale, find that length, breathe in. The right hand comes above you and catch the, the fingers and draw the shoulder down and sit a little bit low on the mat, creating that space. Breathe in, you can hold a strap, you can catch your shirt. The head presses towards that upper arm. Unravel the hands, reach the hands forward. Take that right leg back, extend towards the sky. Take the left hand forward, lengthen the spine, bend the knee, and catch the ankle. Inhale, take the right leg to the sky, drawing the shoulder away from the ears, pushing into that right hand. Take a breath here, inhale. Exhale, inhale, extend left hand, right leg. Exhale, release the right knee and the left hand. Take the left leg back, just the left leg. Left knee over the right knee. Create more space. And then make room and sit back down. Cow face pose. Hands reach up. The left hand comes behind you. Right hand behind you. And catch. Draw the shoulder down. The head rests towards that left forearm. Find comfort where you are. Make sure you're breathing in and out. Relaxing the shoulder. Reach the hands all the way up. Extend. Hands back down on the mat. Release the left leg back and up. This time, take the right hand forward. Lengthen. Shoulder away from the ears. Bend the knee and catch the ankle. Left ankle. Kick and lift up. Open the heart. Push into that left hand. Inhale. Exhale. Take the left hand, left leg back, right hand forward, lengthen. Exhale, release. Left hand, right hand, left knee. Press back into plank. 
Lean forward yogi push up your vinyasa. Upward facing dog. Press back downward facing dog. Excellent work. Taking a breath here, look between the hand, step or jump forward. Look forward, lengthen, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bend the knee, chair pose, Utkatasana. Bring the hands by the side, mountain pose. Hands reach up, bend the knee, chair pose. Hands in front of the heart in prayer. And bring the left elbow all the way up, right hand down, and take a deeper twist. Twisted chair. Inhale, sit a little bit lower, squeezing those knees together. From here, you're going to plant that left hand on the mat. And you're going to try to take the right leg back. Extend that right leg to the back mindfully. You can put a block on the right hand. Find a drishti. Breathe in. And bring the right leg to meet with the left. Take the twist. Smile. Come back to chair pose. Rise up mountain pose. Noticing your breath. Bend the knee. Chair pose. Hands in front of the heart. Left elbow towards the right. Hug the knee together. Left hand down. Right hand up. So again, check in where you are. And stay here. Inhale, finding that length, creating more space. Again, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, return back forward to chair. Rise up, mountain pose. Inhale, reach the hands all the way up, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. You have the second time to do it. Lengthen, flat back. Bend the knee. Step or jump back, Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog. Press back, downward facing dog. We start on the right side. Inhale. Bend the knee. Look forward, lengthen. Step or jump. Flat back. Exhale, straighten the knee, forward fold. Inhale, reach the hands all the way up. Chair pose and bring the hands in front of the heart in prayer. Finding that left elbow outside of the right knee, hug the knee together. Left hand outside of the right foot, right hand reach up. From here, balance on the right and take the left leg back. Begin to straighten that right foot. Check with your balance. Focus on it, something that is not moving. And if you fall, come back in. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, bring the left leg to meet with the right. Bend the knee, chair pose. Hands in front of the heart. Right elbow outside of the left. Thumb to sternum. Open the palm. The right hand is outside of the left foot. The right hand reach to the sky. Or the left hand reach to the sky. Sorry. Come back into chair pose and rise up into mountain pose. All right. Create more space in the front for arm balance. Reach the hands all the way up. Sit down in that imaginary chair. Reach forward. Place the hand on the mat. If you're working into your crow pose, just stay here. If you fall that to go, Start to lift one leg, the right leg, maybe the left, finding that balance. Push into those five fingers. Create that shelf. Look forward. Lengthen. Breathe in. Breathe out. Come back into chair pose if you can. Finding that length. Bring the hands behind you, draw the knuckles that back, open the heart, look up, 
hugging those knees together. Exhale, draw their knuckles forward, forward fold. Relax the head, relax the shoulder. Breathe in, breathe out. Again, inhale, bend the knee, reach the hands all the way up, heels are down, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Create more space again. We come back into crow pose, bakasana, knee towards the armpit, lift one leg, lift the other. The more we practice this pose, the better we get at it. Continue to look forward. Inhale. Exhale. Step or jump back. Your vinyasa, chitaronga, dandasana, upward facing dog. We meet back in downward facing dog. Take the left leg to the sky. Finding that breath. Left leg in between the hand. Shoulder away from the ears. Rise up into your high lunge. Crescent lunge. Bending that left knee. Mobility on the ankle. Strength on the legs. Hands in front of the heart. Right elbow outside of the left. So this is a good way to practice side crow. You can stay here. You can bring the hands on the mat, taking a little bit of a deeper twist and lift the right leg up, coming into revolve half moon. Checking in your right leg and lift. Open the heart. Inhale here. Exhale, bring the right leg to meet with the left. Return back to chair pose. Inhale, mountain pose. Bringing that left knee towards the chest. Balancing here, one-legged mountain. Taking a breath here. Left ankle towards the perineum for tree pose. Hands in front of the heart. Or similarly, reach the hands all the way up. Hips are facing forward. Straighten the right leg, lifting through the inner thigh. Continue to open the hip. Then from here, we're going to catch the instep of the left leg. Bend the right knee. Dancer's pose. Dance and express yourself. Maybe working on straightening that left leg, right hand reaching up. Take a breath here and bring yourself back into the high lunge. Left leg back, sink in. Exhale the hands to the mat. Inhale, take the right leg back, downward facing dog. Inhale, forward into plank. Yogi push up. Upward facing dog, top of the legs on the mat, thighs are lifted. Press back, downward facing dog. We go on the right side. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, float the right leg up and to the sky. Breathe in. Breathe out. Bring that right leg in between the hand mindfully. Rise up, high lunge, crescent lunge. Drawing the shoulder away from the ears, you can look towards your thumb. Hands in front of the heart in prayer. Breathe in. Left elbow outside of the right, turning and drawing that belly in and up. Left hand outside of the right knee, right hand reach up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Again, inhale. Plant the left hand down and lift the left leg back and up. Revolve half moon. Each side will feel different. Making sure the back is flat. Opening the heart center. More extend the left leg. More straighten the right leg. Open the heart. Breathe in. Bring the left leg to meet with the right chair pose. Ukatasana. Creating more space 
Inhale, rise up. Hug your right knee towards the chest, hands by the side. One-legged mountain. Bring that right leg towards the perineum. Push the left leg towards the right, right leg towards the left. You can come into half tree. Hands reach up. Breathe in. Breathe out. Again, open the front of the hip. Both hips face forward. Allow yourself to find that stillness. From here, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Bend the right leg. Right hand catches the instep of that right foot. Charge into the left foot, left hand. Dancer's pose. Kick the right leg up. Lift the sternum. Open the heart. If you fall, you can always come back in. Notice your breath. Slowly bring that right leg back. High lunge, crescent lunge, sink in, bend the knee, feel the strength on the legs. Hands frame that front foot, take the left leg back, downward facing dog, Adha Mukha Vasana. Come back into plank, yogi push up, drawing that belly in, upward facing dog, finding that breath, thighs are off the mat. Now inhale here, keep your toes on the mat. Lift yourself up into a modified plank. Notice your ankle. Lower back down. Upward facing dog. Press the front of the hip forward. Draw the shoulder down. Exhale, downward facing. Reconnect with your breath. Inhale. How are you feeling? Exhale, take the left leg up. Bend the knee, open the hip. You can simply stay here, creating that space, lengthen the spine. Inhale, find that breath. Exhale, bring the left leg behind the right, while thin. Left hand reach forward, lift through the heart center, open through the chest. Lift the hip, open the heart. From here, come into your side plank, Lift the left leg and straighten the left hand to the sky. So you look like a star, your version of star. Breathing, make sure you're breathing, charging into that right hand. The left leg comes to the right hand. Rise up, warrior two. Relax both shoulders away from the ears. Taking a big breath in. Great work, everybody. Straighten the left leg. Reach the left hand forward and down. Triangle pose. Trikonasana in Sanskrit. More straighten the left leg. More reach the right hand up. The gaze can be forward or towards the right thumb. Observe your breath. Inhale. Bend the knee. Back to warrior two. Relax the shoulder. Peaceful warrior, reverse warrior, open through the side body, the side rib cage. Relax the shoulder. Come back to warrior two. Extended side angle, left hand inside that left foot, right hand reach across. Option to bring the left forearm on the left knee. Extend, press that left heel down. Inhale, frame that front foot. Listen for a little bit of more balance. The left hand underneath the left knee and then hug in. You can stay here or you can walk that left leg towards the back, lean more forward. An option to bend the elbow and then lift the right leg and the left leg if it's available. Yes, it's challenging. Lower down, come out of it into your high lunge like nothing happened. It's a challenging pose. Hands in front of the heart. 
right elbow outside of the left knee. Hands in front of the heart, you can stay here. Option to create more space and allow yourself to go for the side crow. So keeping the leg in the lunge, or you can bring the right leg to the left. Bend both knees, lean towards the left, and then lift the leg up from the mat. Side crow variation. A lot of arm balance. Maybe straight in the leg, maybe stack in the leg. So stack or stagger. Wherever you are, slowly and mindfully come back into your high lunge like nothing happened with a big smile. Exhale the hands to the mat. Take the left leg and straighten that left foot. Look forward, lengthen, high pyramid pose. Surrendering towards that left leg. Releasing any tension on the lower back. Breathe in and out. When you have it, look forward, find that length, bend the knee, and go into your split. So use your hand to break or put a block. We've been working on our split. It's important to notice where you are. Continue to Bring the right hip forward, left hip back. Draw the shoulder away from the ears. Belly in. Use your hand as a break. Don't force the pose. And continue to smile. Inhale, we're going to sweep the right leg forward and come into a seated forward fold. Hands reach up, look up. Then exhale, lean forward, catch your toes. Seated, forward, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, look forward and fold. Try to bring your belly towards your thigh, chest towards your shin. Gaze is towards your toes. Relax the shoulder. Back of the knee on the mat. Inhale, hands reach up. Dandasana, hands behind you. Point toes. You can bend the knee. First option, lift the sternum, stay here. Tricep, bicep active. Second option, lift and come into tabletop. Third option, straighten the legs and come into reverse plank. I want you to notice that my fingers are pointing towards my heels. My toes are on the mat. Ankle mobility. Taking a breath here, bend the knee. Place the hip on the mat. Hands reach forward and come into Navasana, boat pose. Bring the chest towards the knee, knee towards the chest. Knee can be bent for easy, fine breath. Now we're going to bring the legs overhead and then we slowly come into Halasana. So I'm describing that hands and legs overhead, one and two, maybe touch your legs. Breathe in one, two, and three. Take your time and bend the knee and come into Malasana. Feel free to use a wall. Prayer squat. Use the elbow and open the hip. This is a great hip opener. Place the hands down and walk your legs together. Standing forward fold. Finding that breath as you fold. Breathe in, bend the knee, chair pose, Utkatasana. Rise up, mountain pose. Reach the hands up, bend the knee, chair pose. An option here is to take a side uh, back into crow pose or just step back and jump back, vinyasa. A little bit more challenging. Knee towards the armpit. It's an advanced way of floating back. Upward facing dog. We meet in downward facing dog. Great job, everybody. Really connecting with your breath. All right. Inhale here. Exhale. Take that right leg up. Inhale. Bend the knee. Open the hip. Charging into the adductor muscles. Coming into your wild thing. 
open the heart. Lift through those front hip. When you are ready, take a breath here and charge the right hand to the sky and go into your side plank variation. You can also bring the legs together. You can lift the right leg up like a star. Finding your breath. Inhale, open. As the right leg comes to the left hand, top of the mat. Inhale, rise up, high lunge. Breathe into that front hip. Open the heart. Lengthen the spine. Look up. Exhale, frame that front foot. And then slowly bring the right elbow, right shoulder on the knee. And then point your right toes towards the back leg. Lean forward. Lift right leg, left foot. Arm balance. Flying crow. Flying crow it is. Continue to breathe. Continue to push the mat away. You can also put a block in the hands. Coming back into warrior two, like nothing happened, with a big smile. Relax the shoulder, tailbone down, belly in, smile. Inhale, find that breath, straighten the left leg, reach the left hand down, and right, right hand down, left hand up, my apologies. Open that front hip, the front of that right hip, Look up or look forward. How are you feeling? Bend the knee, return back to warrior two. Your legs are three feet apart, one meter. Peaceful warrior, reverse warrior. Look up towards your upper arm. The right rib cage creates more space. Back to warrior two. Extended side angle variation B, hands inside that right foot, use the elbow to open the hip. Left hand reach forward, open the heart. Pushing the outer edge of that left foot, you can also come right elbow, right knee. Wherever you feel comfortable, allow yourself to express yourself. Inhale, come back. High lunge, crescent lunge. Great work. Taking a big breath in, hands in front of the heart, in prayer. Left elbow outside of the right. Noticing the advanced poses. It's okay to bring the right leg and the left leg together, or you can have that stagger side crow. When you have it, create more space on the right Place both hands on the mat, elbow bent. Begin to lean over to the right on that shelf that you created. And then lift right and left foot. You can keep a bent right leg since you're in the lunge. Or you can stack right foot and left foot. You can also straighten the right leg and lift. However you get there, we're going to play a little bit. Same thing that we did on the left, we're doing on the right. Come back. It is a challenging and an advanced pose. Rise up high lunge with a smile. Breathe in, sink in, feel that front hip. Frame the front foot. You're already there. You know where we're going. Split. And each side is going to feel different. Use your hand or block as a break. Draw the shoulder down. Lift the chest. Open the heart. Breathe in, releasing the inner thigh on the mat. Open the heart. It's a constant adjustment. Split. Hanamanasana in Sanskrit. Right leg and left leg meets in the front. Sweep the left leg to meet with the right. Sit nice and tall. Dandasana. Hands reach up. Look up, then seated forward fold. Reach towards your toes and then fold. Catch your feet, lengthen the spine and come down and fold. Excellent work. Taking a breath here. Inhale. 
and exhale. Inhale, look forward, back of the knee on the mat. Continue to reach and lengthen. Hands reach up. Look up. Hands behind you. Second time. Bend the knee. Stay here. Elbow and tricep to engage. Lifting up. Tabletop. Draw the belly in. You can stay here. You can press on to your reverse plank. Make sure you're not slipping and sliding. Big toes on the mat. Ankle stretches. Breath in. Breath out. Bend the knee. Hip back on the mat. Charge your hands forward and come into Navasana. Boat pose. Taking a big breath in, lifting that chest, opening the back body, drawing the shoulders down. When you have it, lower your back. Keep your shoulders off the mat. Point toes and we're going to tap. Slowly and mindfully. One, two, three, four, five. Continue to relax the shoulder. Breathe in. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hug your knee, place the hands. Uh, on the mat, and then bend the knee and lift on up. Make sure your hands can tickle your heels. Palm facing the earth, lift the hip up, draw the shoulder away from the ears. So bridge pose variation, stay here and breathe in towards that lower back. Lengthen the spine, working yourself into this pose as you release your back into the mat. We prepare for wheel. So first option, keep your knee bent, and then legs are on the mat, arch your back and flip the crown of the head on the mat. And then push into the hands, lift the hip and keep your head on the mat. And then hands can reach up to the sky. Your head is supporting you, your legs are supporting you. Continue to draw the shoulder away from the ears. Lift the hip. Breathe in. And reach the hands towards the ankle. Catch your ankle. And even lift a little bit higher. Breathe in. And breathe out. Again. Inhale, lift. Open. Exhale, flip the hands. Bring the hands on the mat. And push into your wheel pose. If it's available. Notice your breath, notice the resilience. Lower down, back into bridge for a moment and then hug your knee in and straighten your legs. A great way to do an inversion. So allow your legs to empty, noticing your breath, noticing your shoulder. Inhale and exhale. Hands overhead, legs overhead. We're going to press our legs overhead and come back into that halasana variation. One, two, legs overhead. Touch your toes if you can or support your back. From here, one, two, and three, we're going to press into malasana. Again, one, finding that breath, bend the knee and come into malasana. Feel free to use a wall, hands on the mat, straighten the legs, and then slowly walk back into your downward facing dog. We're going to prepare for an inversion. If you have a headstand practice, we go for it. Interlace the hand. Bring the crown of the head on the mat. You can take one leg up at a time. You can stay here. You can begin to walk your legs in. You can lift both legs up as one unit, headstand. So feel your body in space, noticing the ease to press into the headstand. You can take any leg variation, 
Noticing your breath, noticing your shoulder, noticing what is no longer serving you. Breath remains constant. Lengthening through the inner thighs if you are in Sutta Bodhi Kanasana. Legs reach to the sky. So normally in Ashtanga, we hold the headstand for 50 breaths. So check in. Have that patience, that resilience to hold your pose a little bit longer. Lower down and take child's pose. Well deserved. Hands reach forward, straighten the arm, hip towards the heels. Release. Noticing how you're feeling in this moment. Quieting your breath, softening your eyes. And when you have it, allow yourself to reach your hip towards your heel. All right. Noticing the work that you're putting in. Practice and practice and practice. We are constantly making progress. The progress might be very small or very big. And that's what is important. Adjust yourself and come into tabletop. Cat and cow. Finding cow and finding cat as you round with the exhale. Inhale, drop in the belly, lift the chest to the sky, look up, draw the shoulder down. Exhale, round, release any tension on the lower back. Inhale, open. Exhale, round in here, pushing the mat away. And come into neutral spine. Swing your legs forward and uh, lay yourself down for final relaxation. Now, allow yourself to find your favorite hand. Place your hand on top of your heart or chest. Place the other on your belly. Close your eyes. Breathe in and breathe out. Finding yourself to lay here and do nothing. Do nothing. Relax your feet. Relax your ankle. Relax your upper thighs, your hip. Soften your belly. Relax your chest. Soften your hands, your upper arm, your elbow, your shoulders, your neck. With each inhale and exhale, begin to observe that stillness in the body, the silence of the mind, going within and listening to that still small voice, reminding you, I am enough. I am stronger than I thought. Breath is constant. There is no judgment here. You can continue to stay here for some time. I wish you can hear the singing bowl. 
The first chime is a reminder to relax. Second chime is to remind you of the practice of yoga, the teachings of yoga, the sound, the infinite sound of the sound oh, relaxes the body. The chime reminds us that we are aware of our surroundings. With each breath, remind yourself, I am love. I am light. I am forgiven those that we've wronged unknowingly or knowingly. I am enough. I am lighter in my body, my mind, and my spirit. More especially, thanking yourself for showing up, making time to practice yoga. Wherever you are, you can start to wiggle the toes and finger, rotating the ankle and wrist, Noticing the sensations, the ease of your practice. And come back, hug your knee and roll over to the right side. Come and join me to seated. Find an easy pose. Reach the hands all the way up. And we twist to the right how we started, drawing the shoulders away from the ears, coming back all the way up and twist to the other side, left side, drawing the shoulder down. Inhale, reach the hands in front of the heart in prayer, honoring that divine light, the teachers and the founders of yoga. Come with a grateful heart, honoring yourself. The light in me honors the light in each and every one of you. Thank you. Namaste. Guys, if you like this content, please like, share, and subscribe. Become part of the Own Green Wellness. Sorry, the recording did not um, record, so I have to sit back down and re-record. So like, share, and subscribe. Let me know how you get on. Was it easy? Was it challenging? I'll see all of you soon in the next one. Be well. Thank you.